We've got the mostly cloudy skies and just a few spotty sprinkles out there and that. Sorry. OK, I was going to say since we can start over, let's do that. <laughs> Three, two, one. We've got the mostly cloudy skies and some spotty sprinkles, and those conditions will continue overnight and into the early parts of our Saturday morning. However, as we go into the afternoon, we're going to see more and more of that sunshine. Winds are going to become very breezy, so make sure you batten down the hatches and any uh, loose objects you may have as you're heading out to those tailgates. You might want to make sure they're secure as well. But the other reason why having that sunshine in the afternoon is important at 1 p.m. is because we have a partial solar eclipse for East Tennessee tomorrow afternoon, which we'll talk more about in just a minute. Once we have the sunshine in the afternoon, a cold front's going to come passing through on those breezy winds, and here comes that colder air and the cloud cover. So for our Saturday night and into Sunday, you're going to notice the temperatures dropping, and then they're really not going to warm up that much more as we go through the day on Sunday. We'll continue to have the off and on spotty sprinkles, the broken cloud cover, and generally much, much cooler air for the back half of the weekend. Now let's talk about this eclipse. First and foremost, it's not going to be like what we had in 2017 here in East Tennessee. Number one, this is an annular eclipse, not a total solar eclipse. And number two, the path of annularity, we're going to have the most coverage of the sun by the moon is over here from Oregon down to Texas. So for us in East Tennessee, we're only going to have about 46.8% coverage. And again, the maximum coverage is going to be happening at about 1:10 in the afternoon. So you got to wear your glasses, your special eclipse glasses if you're going to try to look at that or you could create a pinhole viewer. So pop pop a little hole in a piece of paper and then where the light shines through on the ground down there, you should be able to see the disk of the moon passing in front of the sun. And again, that maximum coverage will occur at about 1:10 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So for the rest of the night tonight, spotty light showers, lows around 60 for tomorrow afternoon. One more mild day and it's going to get breezy during the afternoon with those highs in the mid 70s. Then we take a nosedive highs only in the 50s on Sunday and Monday above 5000 feet in the mountains. We might even have a few snowflakes flying Sunday night and again on Monday night. Then we start to see the temperatures warming up as we go through the middle to latter parts of next week.